Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel show out. Chaos at the Cottage, Sharon Spirals, Secret Team UPS, and Victor's Web of Lies. Things are spiraling fast. Nick has sent a snooper to keep tabs on Sharon, who's completely out of control, leaving everyone on edge. Meanwhile, a jaw-dropping alliance is forming, and you won't believe who's teaming up and why. Lily and Audra are ready to strike, targeting none other than Victor, Kyle, and Billy in a shocking power move. But the real bombshell? Victor's lying through his teeth, and Audra is plotting a revenge so ruthless it could tear everything apart. This twisted web of deceit, betrayal, and alliances will have you glued to the screen. Snooper gets sent to the cottage by Nick, and Sharon loses control. Tuesday, September 10th spoilers for the young and the restless tease that Adam Newman will seem strange to Nick Newman during a business meeting at the GCAC. There's trouble in paradise, Nick will realize that as Sally Spectra shows up and he senses the strain. Nick will only wish to stay out of Adam's close-by altercation with Sally, but Phyllis Summers will come along and consider what's being said. Adam will take Sally to the park in the interim as they battle for their shared future. Adam lacks self-control and will always have a soft spot for Chelsea, so Sally will be the one to break things off. Sally will discuss how she came to realize that Chelsea also understands Adam, so she's not the only one who does. Sally won't be interested in making amends for Adam's repeated attempts to mend their relationship. Billy Abbott hasn't been showing up as often at society, and Connor Newman will notice that. Given how busy they both are these days, Chelsea Lawson will attempt to appear as though they are just taking a brief vacation. When his father gets there, though, Connor will question Adam about Chelsea's separation with Billy since he thinks it's his fault. Chelsea will restate that it's only a temporary separation, but Connor will then inquire about Sally and Adam's romantic relationship. Adam will duck inquiries and assist Chelsea in making evasive remarks, but eventually Connor will lose patience and walk away from the table to wash his hands. Adam and Chelsea will admit that they need to hide the true cause of all the drama. Sally will drop Billy a message at the park once more, hoping to speak with him soon. When Sharon Newman meets with Mariah Copeland at Crimson Lights, she brings up some Cassidy first files, but a few moments later, she will forget what they were discussing. Daniel Romilotti Jr. is getting something out of the car as Lucy Romilotti runs into Sharon after Mariah leaves. Lucy will then have the opportunity to ask Faith if she can meet her again, apologize, and deliver Faith the letter that she has been working on. Although Lucy will believe Sharon is keeping them away because of what happened to Cassie Newman, Sharon will maintain Faith wants no contact. Daniel will step in and help Lucy get out of there as Sharon loses her cool and throws Cassie's memory in her face. Lucy will vent to Daniel once they get home about Sharon and how his previous transgressions are now hurting her. When Nick returns to Sharon, he will question her about what transpired with Lucy at the coffee shop and appear concerned about her. Sharon will explain why she did what she did and why Nick ought to support her. Nick will then have a conversation with Mariah about the potential that Sharon is not taking her medication at all. Mariah will concede that as a possibility when Nick persuades her to find out what Sharon was prescribed and whether or not she has been taking her meds on time. Nick will bring up the fact that Mariah has greater access to Sharon's residence than he does, and she will conclude that she should look into it for her mother's benefit. When Heather Stevens and Phyllis run into each other at the GCAC, Sharon will snap at them, causing Heather to argue with her before storming away. When Phyllis hints that Sharon isn't acting like herself these days, she will incite Phyllis, who will stay behind to spar with Sharon alone. Phyllis's suggestion that she is the issue will infuriate Sharon, who will issue Phyllis a warning to pull back from her family. On Tuesday's episode of YNR, when Sharon rushes out, Phyllis will say something about how this lunacy has to stop while pulling out her phone to call someone. Heather and Daniel will discuss the possibility of traveling to Portugal after they get home. 
Heather will think that since they might never be able to find any peace anyway, perhaps they should think about calling somewhere else home. The next update for today. You're not going to believe who's joining Young and Restless September 9th, and the reason behind. Victor, Kyle, and Billy are about to be struck by Lily and Audra. The Young and the Restless has a lot of conceit. Victor is certain that he understands what's best for the Abbott Chancellor to take over, despite Michael and Nikki's warnings. Kyle is certain he can outweat Victor for Glissade, despite Jack and Diane's best efforts to show him that he's being duped. Despite the gradual explanations from Devin and Chance, Billy is aware that he has Lily in a bind. These affluent, spoilt men must all take a seat. Several seats. Because they will soon be taken by surprise. Sisters pursuing their own interests. Doesn't it feel like Audra and Lily are going to be cast aside soon? It's already signed, sealed, and delivered, so Victor, Kyle, and Billy are gloatingly enjoying their victory. Gentlemen, not so quickly. What if these two women, who are disregarded and undervalued all the time, teamed up? Prior experience is necessary. Although Audra's past is unknown to us, the fact that she eventually had Tucker roll over and pretend to be dead implies she isn't ready to quit up. Furthermore, Lily served a year in prison in addition to being a formidable competitor in the business sector. Do you believe that anything that Billy, Kyle, or Victor could think of would be worse than that? These ladies are strong on their own. Combined, they would be invincible. Together, we can achieve our dreams. If these two women ever got together, they could not only stop Billy, Victor, and Kyle in their tracks, but they could also send the haughty heirs ducking for cover. The men's arrogant stroll throughout town, as if nothing could possibly stand in their way, is getting old to us. Lily and Audra are just what we need to get in the way of them. Better yet, the sooner. The next update for today. Victor steals and Audra schemes retaliation. Spoilers for September 9-13. 2024's Young and the Restless reveal that Victor Newman is caught up in a web of deception. Audra Charles is also hatching schemes in the background. When Devin Hamilton learns about Audra's relationship with Nate Hastings, his distrust of her grows. As Kyle tries to cut Audra out of his life, he and Summer Newman have an off-screen meeting with their legal team. Further YNR spoilers indicate that Nikki Newman might gain more authority at Newman Media. Billy Abbott and Chance Chancellor argue about business in another scene. It all starts at Abbott Chancellor, which makes Chance think about changing careers to work on the CBS serial series. Chelsea Lawson Newman is defensive in Tuesday's Young and the Restless episode. Thus, this may be in opposition to Sally or Billy Spectra. Daniel Romilotti discovers Lucy Romilotti stirring more mischief as the week goes on. Nick Newman and Mariah Copeland, Sharon Newman's children, start to worry about her mental state. Lily Winters and Victoria Newman quarrel over Billy's conduct, and Audra's erratic behavior is revealed. As the week comes to an end, Victor stirs up issues with Diane Jenkins and Phyllis Summers approaches Billy with a compelling proposal. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.